I came up with the idea of using decommissioned oil rigs as uh, offshore bases. It's free. The offshore base, uh, the oil rigs were used to rear fish before, and it probably cost more money to dispose of the oil rigs. So I approached uh, Petronas and said, why can't we have offshore rigs using your decommission? And the first oil offshore rig, uh, which has been upgraded, will be in place by early next month. They paid for the upgrade <coughs> because I impressed on them that uh, the, uh, any facility that is going to be attacked, if you look at the template of IS, will be oil facilities. You know, that's how IS funds themselves by going to the oil fields and actually selling that in the black market. So Patronas uh, realized this, so they paid for the upgrade. Um, next to the offshore, the, the fixed uh, uh, offshore um, base, we also got mobile uh, offshore bases where we are using ships, big ships. And there's one that we have identified being upgraded in uh, Johor right now. We'll be positioning that somewhere in the suburb very soon. And uh, anchored to this offshore, we'll have petrol boats. Um, and that's where the Americans are helping. It's getting the Mark 5, uh, upgraded in Labuan, to be anchored there. We're putting the UAVs there. Uh, we're putting uh, boots uh, on this offshore so there'll be a quicker response in the event something happens. These are all new initiatives that people never thought of. Military definitely won't think about it. You see oil rigs as offshore. But I convinced them that this is the best we can do based on the threat, based on the affordability, and based on what is available uh, to us right now. It is, it's, it's been tough, but um, I hope personally that what we are doing uh, is enough.